welcome to Windroids, a fully featured arcade game for Windows. Windroids was released in 1993 by Stephen Baxter. Windroids is a version of the classic arcade game Asteroids, lovingly crafted for the Windows environment. It features ray traced graphics, fast action, and full multimedia sound. If you're wanting to play this game at full burst, the system requirements are going to require a fast 386DX or a 486 to be really truly playable, though it should run just about anything. The author notes that while it's fine on his 38633, it's still playable on his friend's 38625. The operating system that it's going to need is Windows 3.1. It's also going to need a graphics card that supports 256 colors, which is optional. And remember, you're going to need a sound blaster card as well. Winroids will automatically use either the 16 or 256 color versions of its sprites, depending on the capabilities of your display. But what is the objective of the game? Well, in short, it's to shoot things. Pretty much anything that moves. You can rotate your ship left and right, fire bullets, activate your shield, and also fire your thrusters to move yourself around. But the controls are a bit different here, as one would expect to use the arrow keys. You have to use the Z, X, M, and L keys, as with the space bar for your shields. You can, however, change from the default settings to whichever input you desire. So what do you shoot at? Well, you shoot at asteroids. The object of the game is to get rid of all the asteroids in each screen. When you shoot them, they break up into smaller and smaller chunks until they finally disappear. But watch out, there are steel balls, and shooting these do no damage whatsoever, but the impact of the bullets will alter their speed and directions. But watch out, there are aliens! These green minis are dangerous. If one wanders onto the screen, shoot it quickly. And what do you not shoot at? Well, if you notice in the video, you'll see these presents. Well, they're called gadget partials, and these are gifts from home. They could be retro rockets to help control your ship, auto fire pods to relieve your fire key and your fingers, fuel for your ship or an extra ship. Alternatively, they might be empty, but that's bureaucracy for you. Run them over with your ship to pick them up. But remember, if a gadget parcel is left untouched for too long, it will self-destruct to prevent it falling into enemy hands. But what else can you do in this game? Well, you can change the sprite size from normal size, which is a 640x480 resolution graphics mode, to the large sprites, which can go to 800x600. But remember, if Winroid starts to be jerky or complains that it's out of memory, just switch it back to 640x480 to and all is well. Interestingly enough, you can insert your own MIDI files into Winroid's file directory and play your own music while you're out destroying asteroids. Have you played Winroid's before? Let me know in the comments below and remember, these are the games that time forgot. These are the games that you've never played. These are the games that never were. I'll see you on the next episode. <laughs>